Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 4 video. Today I want to show you the evolution of the flurry build that I made a video earlier where I did like a nightmare dungeon with it. And now uh, I have expanded upon it and I want to show you uh, that right here. So let's first go into the abilities. Uh, I have as my basic skill puncture. Now uh, let's clear the keyword with uh, fundamental puncture to get the vulnerable trigger here and then flurry as the main damage skill i mean partly as you will see later but flurry like is my core skill with improved flurry to get vulnerable to every monster that i hit uh, along with sturdy and stiffening strikes for some sustain and then we have shadow step for some movement weapon mastery for more damage overall uh, poison trap enhanced poison trap and countering poison trap which has a chance to reset my imbuements. So as you notice, Shadow Step and Poison Trap only have one point each because they're more like utility based and not like our main source of damage. And speaking of, we're going into imbuements and we have Shadow Imbuement along with Enhanced and Mixed Shadow Imbuement and also one point into Cold Imbuement and then three into Frigid Finesse, which gives me 15% 15, 15 increased damage to chilled enemies. And I also have enhanced and mixed cold movement here. As for uh, the ultimate, I don't have any ultimate, but I have all these passives innovation. Lucky hit gives me a chance for energy. Uh, Alchemist Fortune non-physical damage has a higher increased lucky hit chance. And second wind, after 100 energy spent, I get 15% increased lucky hit chance. So lucky hit chance is very important, as you will see um, soon. With the uh, gear and aspects I have, I have haste as well for more movement speed, which is nice for moving around. And then as my key passive, I have close quarters combat right now. You can also run momentum. It doesn't trigger as much, I feel. So, but still enough that you could run it if you want. But I like close quarters combat because it gives me another 20% damage increase against crowd controlled enemies. So that's for the skill tree. Uh, let's go into the uh, items first. So this is just a little bit of um, defensive, um, like basic skills, current damage reduction. Um, this one is the bigger one. So I have a chance on lucky hit when I damage a chilled or frozen enemy with a shadow imbued skill, up to a 75% chance to release an explosion that deals cold damage to target and surrounding enemies. So this is like why like one of the reasons why we want lucky hit chance. So after like freezing the enemies, I go with shadow imbuement and I have a chance to have more explosions even. Um, this one uh, is not as good as I thought. So if uh, an enemy is chilled or frozen, I can ev evade through it and get a barrier. But since I only have one evade on this boots, uh, it's not as impactful. So I want to change that for something else. These boots are awesome. Uh, aside from the fact that they have the evade grants movement speed, uh, other than like, yeah, more evade uh, charges or something, or like, I really like the one that reduces the evade cooldown with your attacks, but well, I don't think these can roll other than that because they are unique, they have like fixed affixes. A lot of movement speed and crowd control duration, slow duration also reduced for me. Big, big cold resistance. And the cool thing is, uh, I need to go out of town to show you. I leave a trail of ice and everything around me is automatically chilled. As you can see here. So that's very, very cool and neat effect. Looks great and also helps us out uh, as well as ideal 9% more damage to chilled enemies. Uh, here we have just uh, basic skills gain attack speed. Uh, then imbuement skills effects have increased potency against vulnerable enemies. So vulnerable we talked about before. Uh, it's easy to apply vulnerable with this build. And then my imbuements have higher uh, potency, so higher chill effect or higher damage in terms of shadow imbuement. Um, here, this is very important for every flurry build. You need this aspect. You can get this through a dungeon here. I have it uh, found on this ring and it rolled perfect. So this is great, 15% increased damage, and of course, the circle around myself. Um, next up uh, is skills deal up to 
in this case, 18% increased damage based on my available prime resource. It's just a little bit of more damage. I think I will replace it with something else in the future, but for now it is good because this ring also comes with imbued skill damage plus, plus damage to chilled enemies, damage to injured enemies, like pretty, pretty good stuff here. And for the weapons, um, I have here imprinted when casting an imbuement skill, I trigger an imbued explosion around myself, applying the imbuement effect. So if you see here, if I press call imbuement, it actually triggers for everything around me if I cast it. And then we have Condemnation, which gives me a plus 36% uh, increased damage when I'm spending three combo points on my core skill, uh, and my basic skill has a chance to generate three combo points at once. But this is something I, I barely even noticed, like the second thing. Uh, more core skill damage is great, but I don't know if this is really, really powerful, because I don't notice if I have three combo points. Like, during battle, like, I don't know, I'm just hitting three times with my basic attack basically so and as you would have guessed i have a combo point specializations so there's a lot to talk about in terms of you and abilities last up paragon uh, i just wanted to note um i picked the legendary note here which gives me a 20 percent resistance uh, from my imbuement, uh, depending on what I use. If I use Shadow Imbuement, I get 20% Shadow Resistance. If I use Cold, I get 20% Cold for six seconds and also 20% increased damage. So this is also great. This is the board I picked first, like after the basic one. And as the rare glyphs go, we have uh, this one. This is great. 50% damage to chill enemies, uh, depending on how much dexterity is purchased within range. In this case, I have 50 dexterity, so I get 51% damage to chill enemies and also 20% increased chill effect because the requirement is met. Uh, another glyph that I want to put in uh, here and next up is, uh, where is it, the infusion one, um, because it gives me um, increased damage with my imbuement skills, and also if I if I meet the requirement, imbuement skills reduce the active cooldown of another random imbuement skill by the 0 0.5 seconds. So these two, uh, synergize on uh, giving themselves uh, each other cooldown reduction. Okay, so we covered the build. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Um, I toyed around a little bit with poison imbuement because technically I don't need cold imbuement because of my unique boots. Uh, I already applied shield. Um, it's not, it doesn't seem as big as my attack range because my attack range is a little bit bigger, I think, than this circle. Uh, still, you could technically go get away without Cold Imbuement and, and get Poison Imbuement for more damage. Or, what I was thinking next, and this will maybe involve into that, um, get rid of Poison Trap and get a third Imbuement in Poison Imbuement. Um, because of this uh, glyph, the Imbuements give each other 0.5 cooldown reduction when you use them. So this will be interesting if I have this glyph, I will try that out. Because right now, uh, poison Trap is more of a utility because it knocks down enemies for 1.73 seconds and also has a 30% chance to reset my imbuement skill cooldowns, which is nice, but maybe I don't need it if I have like this new rare glyph. All right. So we talked about the build and everything that is going on. Let's go into some dungeon. I'm in World Tier 3 right now. I'm level 64. Uh, I could do like a Nightmare Sigil along like level uh, tier like 13, 14, 15, something like that. So possibly like mobs around level 73 are no problem. I already cleared the capstone dungeon, so I can already go to world tier 4, but I'm lacking a little bit of, um, uh, what do you say, like not sustain, but resistances. In, like resistances are fairly low still um as you can see here only cold is like high but like on world tier 4 you lose another 20 percent resistance i think it is and the gear is fairly low still like these claws are 581 item power um this one is great but like overall it, it could be better so I, I need more gear for world tier 4. so basically you can start off with cold imbuement and Column Building is great because it freezes very, very quickly, which gives you a lot of survivability. Everything's closed here, okay. And then you three times basic attack and then Shadow Imbuement will just deal a huge amount of AoE. And it's 
better to have like a couple of enemies around. Uh, single target is like it, it takes some time, but it's all right. As you can see, like they all explode. It's just great and it's so satisfying to play. I'm not ready yet. Sustain is also there because flurry gives me or gives me um, uh, max max uh, healing based on max health. It's in the condition fine. And uh, I also have the passive, which uh, gives me healing on critical strikes. And I have the passive that I have 9% higher chance of critical strikes if I attack with an imbued skill. So, decent amount of sustain. Even though we are melee, um, we can take a little bit of hits and then regen up to full life. And there's no shame in taking a health pot every now and then. We have nine of them right now. I guess we get some later. There are actually is an affix on uh, pants that give you like plus push capacity, which is interesting. So where did I go now? Like there were two barriers here for some reason. Back I need to go. Maybe it doesn't matter. Never had this before where like it branches out to the second level. Oh, not ready. The thing that I really want to have is um there's a legendary aspect. It gives you another charge of Shadow Step, which is nice for like, gap closing and moving around. And also, I want these boots, but I want them with different uh, ethics for dodge. Like, I want like reduces dodge cooldown of every attack or something, because I really like dodging around. I have to get used to just running around, and movement speed is actually very high. Um, but with this I need to watch my evade usage <laughs> because before I used a lot of evade just to move around and now I need to limit it to when I really need it to evade some stuff. But yeah, as you can see, gameplay is very smooth. It's very satisfying, especially with Hello in human explosions. And it's pretty safe and you have a lot of sustain. So I'm curious how this will develop into higher levels. Uh, I will keep you updated about that, of course. And maybe even tweak the build. It depends on what I find. And actually, I have no idea what other uniques or legendary aspects are out there that complement this build. I've seen one that. Um, gives me a similar effect on lucky hit as with the chill and shadow imbuement. It says that if the uh, enemy is poisoned and they use shadow imbuement, oh no boss here, huh? I use shadow imbuement then uh, there is some chance to uh, poison them even further. Uh, I think I have this aspect but I haven't had any item yet where I can imprint it on. Uh, so this would be maybe evolving this build uh, further into more damage um but like the column human is is very nice to to have like uh in in terms of the defense to freeze them like the aspect i'm talking about is this one lucky hit damaging a poison enemy with a shadow imbued skill has up to a 75 percent chance to create a toxic explosion that applies poisoning damage over five seconds to the targets or the enemies so this will be interesting experimenting around with it. Uh, I'm not a fan of poison imbuement, I'm not a fan of poison damage because it just isn't direct damage and it just takes and takes and like uh, in that case I like all imbuement better, it gives me a, a, an effect, a freeze, chill and also it does 20% damage, 20% more damage to crowd control enemies. So yeah, this is it. This is the double imbuement uh, build uh, together with some uh, 
poison trap and shadow step utility and yeah i hope you like this if you did leave a like and consider subscribing because there will be more content like this in the future thank you so much for watching good luck have fun and goodbye